Hello everyone, welcome to episode 27 of our b 2 Let's Play series. I don't know, episode 27, 28, I don't know what this episode is. But anyways, let's get on with it. So, I told you guys a few episodes ago, I wanted to make some flux infused armour. I want to go make that. Because that sounds pretty cool. So, it's... Oh, don't, don't need to open the journey map there. We need to do something with these fluid transposers. So, I believe... For flux infused items... What's on that? Oh! Okay, that's Britannia. That doesn't even matter. Anyways, let's get on with this... Flux infused helm, which is armor plating, which is flux crystals, which I believe are just diamonds. So it's two per armor plating. That's pretty expensive, if you ask me. That's whoa. We only have ten diamonds, so we're pretty low on diamonds. This will make us the helmet, and I'm pretty happy with that just to start off with. All right, all right. So do I have? Enough EMC to make more diamonds. I don't believe I do. I wonder if I have anything good that I can EMC with. Maybe some glowstone? That has, in fact, I believe balls of moss are very, very good at giving you EMC. I don't know why. I believe before I tried to automate the production of it, but it uses so, so much power. So I'll put that in there. You know, I want to actually make some more moss stone. I forgot what the recipe was. I believe the machine was a fluid transposer. So let's look at, let, let's look up fluid transposer. There, there it is, but I don't want the resonant kind though, I just want the basic one. The basic one is a machine frame, uh, copper gears, buckets, glass. So copper gears, I believe, are just. First, I don't know what copper gears are. Oh, that is copper. Seems pretty simple. So we made some copper gears. Now we need to make this reception coil. Let's make that. What else? We need. Glass up buckets and also a machine a basic machine frame. Let's make this one. In fact, oh we actually have enough to make that. That's pretty cool. And do we have a bucket? I think we do. I believe that's everything to make it. There we go. Now I'm gonna get some cobblestone and also some water, because it does need water. I think I might use an acreus accumulator at some point. But well, this is just a very basic system, bear that, bear that in mind. I think I'm going to put it... I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'll put it... I don't want to put it there, because it's behind everything. I want to put it... Hmm, I'm a bit limited to, to where I can put it. I think I'll put it... Hmm... I'll just put it there, temporarily, and let's put our cobblestone in there. And I need some water. How do I put water in there? I believe the only way to put water in there is by using a maybe a liquid transfer node and then some water. But that means I need, I need to make a drum. In fact, how do you make a drum? A drum would be that would be pretty helpful. What is a drum? Okay, so it is a cauldron. Let's make one of those. It's quite a lot of iron. Cool, we have a drum. Now I'm gonna get an aqueous accumulator. And I think I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna put it down one block. And you're probably thinking, why am I putting it downstairs? It's a really weird place to put it. But, you'll see. 
why I'm putting it downstairs in a minute. There's a pretty good reason for doing it. In fact, I think if I put it there, put water around it, let's get a little bit more. Put some more around it. I believe, yeah, that will make it fill up pretty quick. And now all I need to do is fill the floor back in. There we go. And do I have any of that cobblestone brick? That would be pretty helpful right now. And you guys can see exactly what I'm going to do here. So now I can then put the drum on top of them. I can see it's filling it with water and it's going to fill up reasonably quick, I guess, but not too, too quick. Well, we'll see how quick it goes, and I'm probably going to make it a little bit better in the future. But for now, I need to put a transfer node directly there. And that's going to... I'm going to put the drum on there. Once I get it finished, I could put some transfer pipes from the Aqueous Accumulator directly, but this drum system, it's a bit of a temporary system just for making diamonds. So I don't know how much, I don't know, is that going to be enough? Okay guys, well, we'll be right back once it's filled up a little bit. Okay guys, so I thought I would make some of these diamonds, or well, these flux crystals, but I was looking at this and I was thinking, hmm, power is draining here a little bit. Well, it was draining while well, all these machines are both on. And I was wondering, why are they draining? This thing's still got a big internal buffer. Well. This conduct's overloaded, 640 RF out 640, so it looks like we need to get the next tier up, which is enhanced energy conduct, which is this, these, which is glowstone, redstone, and gold. Let's get three of that. There's some redstone. Let's also get some glowstone in the furnace upstairs. Here it is, alloy smelter. Looks like I've already got some in there. Let's just put that away. That conduit iron, which is the basic tier. And it has this actually got going. Yeah, that should be enough water for now. I'm going to go and get this water drum and plonk it downstairs. Here we go. I hate that. What, why that's really buggy. It's just really annoying. So now I can put that in there. And that's going to slowly make us some co some mossy cobblestone, which I can then turn into um, cobble. Um, I can turn it into balls of moss, which are a lot of EMC for some reason. But how much is moss stone? It's 145, and I believe it's more worth it in a bowl of moss form than it is just as general. I was going to make some moss stone, and while that's ticking away, I could make a system where I make keep manufacturing moss stone, and then uh, I don't know how, how I could do it. There's really good ways I can make EMC systems just with uh, some moss stone. Okay, so let me just go downstairs and see how we're doing for redstone. Well, not redstone, these flux crystals. So, I believe I can make the boot, which is pretty cool. In fact, has the alloy smelter upstairs finished making those enhanced ingots? Have you finished? Yes, you have. Energetic ingots? You're mine now. Alright, these energetic ingots, let's make this enhanced energy conduit. Here we go. And this stuff, um, if I just put it here, is the next tier up. Which, as you can see, is now holding... Oh, this has already reached its max capacity as well, but it can definitely handle a lot, lot bigger power demands, which is pretty cool. 
So I believe I'm just going to quickly get my wrench, wrong wrench, and... Okay, so now I need to right click on it from there. Ooh. Right click on that, there we go. And then I can make, I can quickly just do that, to make that an output, and make this an input. There we go. So now this is going to input power and this is going to output power. And for some reason it instantly maxes out the transfer rate. I don't know why. But yeah, we can definitely transfer power a lot quicker. So when these machines are on, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Alright, so let's look at what else we need for this fluxed armor plating. We need some more fluxed electrum ingots, which is... Let's get... Let's look at this pyrithium, which is blaze powder. Ooh, blaze powder. Sulfur. Don't, yeah, do we have any sulfur? No. Oh, we don't have any sulfur, so I think... I'm about to get mining, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're back. I did get mining, got a little bit of sulfur going. I also realized me some blaze powder, and I crafted myself a little bit of that. I believe it is crafted when you fluid transpose glowstones. That was a pretty simple recipe. Come on, here we go. So now, has this thing made any progress? Oh yeah, it has made a lot of progress. How much water do we have? 83,000. So we've got quite a bit of water. And we also have some in the buffer. So, what was I going to make? Let's see, this fluxed armour. So, in fact, do we have... Oh, how much coal do we have? Six... You know, I'm going to make... 16, I'm going to sag mill it. Just so then it'll be automatically put into the system. And do we, do we need any, anything else for that plating? I don't know. Coal, sulfur, yep. So that's what we need for that. And what do we need for the flux electron blend? We need electron blend. And I believe that is silver and gold. Let's see, let's get a little bit of silver. Oh, a little bit low on gold as well, actually. So I think I need to go and get this and turn this into moss. Here you go. So I've now got some more balls of moss. And where's my gold? I've got it in my inventory. I thought I had plenty of gold, but it would appear not. That's why I've got this ender quarry going there. Once we can meet the power demands, we should be fine. Let's just quickly put some gold in there. And the moss. There we go, 12 gold ingots. Let's keep the diamonds going. We might as well. And let's also infuse another diamond. put that diamond back and I believe we actually need to sag mill it well you know I'll put one lot of stuff in that sag mill the other set in here there we go alright then so we've now got the silver being turned into silver powder which is pretty cool which we can then use to make electrum, which we can then infuse into there, and we can make our first bit of armour. I may or may not make the next bit of armour on camera, because it's going to be a little bit of a pain. And, in fact, do we have our energy conduit anywhere? Energy conduit? Yeah, let's get some of this. Let's put this energy conduit back here, and let's just see if we can... Can we actually satisfy the power demands? Not really. We're definitely coping better than we were because I was draining this internal buffer and looks like this energy conduit still isn't good enough. We may need the next tier up, but this should be fine. As long as it's getting us some minerals, I don't really mind. But while that's going, let me see how much pulverized gold we have. Or gold powder. Okay guys, we're back, and I've realised that I need an induction smelter. 
Okay guys, we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. And the other backup happened that makes a little bit of lag, so I thought I'd really show that. So, I installed these open blocks elevators. These appear to be working again, which is pretty cool. And I've actually realized, yeah, we need, need an induction smelter. Alright, so we need this guy, and it's pretty basic, I'd say. I mean, we need some invar ingots, which is invar blend, which is iron, which is two iron and a ferrous. But do we have any ferrous? Yeah, we do. We have a little bit of ferrous, so I'll put that into the sag mill. You know, I believe we actually have some gold upstairs. Up here, maybe? Yeah, we do. Some gold powder. Which I grounded up. So let's get going with this. Also, the ender quarry has... Oh, okay, I guess we've emptied the chest, but it had a little bit of stuff in it. We now have nearly 3,000 cobblestone. In fact, how's our enemy drive doing for space? So it looks like this for... Okay, so that's definitely got a lot of the items on it. it looks like it's reasonably split between the two. Between the four drives, I should say. So, hmm. So we need our invar ingots, which has our first smelted yet? Yeah, it has. So let's go and smelt up a little bit of that in the alloy in the alloy smelter. And I want to gather a few more, more materials, guys, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, we're back, and I'm just now finishing up what I was doing. So. I believe we already have a bucket, and all we need now is our invar. Alright, so invar ingots is the blend. Can we make this? Hmm, how much, do we have any iron? Yeah, we do, but it's in ore form for when I went mining. You know, I didn't smell that. Ah, oh, I smelted the ferris. Don't, I should not have smelted that ferris. Now, I'm using these travel anchors instead of using elevators, that's uh, really weird. Let's put those in there, and hopefully we should be able to get that going. So, in fact, how's our manor actually doing? It's actually not doing too bad, actually. It's definitely filled up since we have just left it for a good few episodes. I think from about episode 23, we've just let it go. Just to do its own thing. Right, now let's see if we can make some invar. Can we make some invar? Maybe? No? Yeah, the, here we go. A little bit of invar. I'm just going to go and smelt that up. And there's alloy smelter. In fact, actually, I've not checked on my diamonds. I've moved this travel anchor to here, by the way. Alright, so I've nearly produced another diamond. Let's go to this one. And has our ferris, not ferris, invar smelted up. Yes, it has. And off camera, I did make a few more components for this thing, and I believe we have it. Ooh, I don't, I don't have, oh, I'm missing everything but the redstone reception coil. Gold. Oh, okay, I've turned it all into powder. Right. So we need one gold, turning into turning back in in fact I'll take two. Here we go. Let's put that in there. So I'm struggling struggling a little bit of on on EMC, I think I'll have to sort that out next episode. But for now we have an induction smelter. Cool. Let me just put this down here. I think I'm gonna put it I don't know, I'll put it there. Alright, so now I can smelt these things together to make some fluxed... In fact, I need to make the nuggets actually, but I need to make the ingots first. I can see it's charging up and it's uh, making a bit of a weird sound. Alright, here we go. Let's make a few nuggets. Okay guys, we'll be right back once this, is, once this has finished cooking up. 
Okay guys, I've done a little bit of crafting and as you can see I've made seven of these fluxed armor platings and in fact I believe I need to make one well one more set and oh I'm throwing that on the floor, I didn't mean to do that. Let's just turn one set into nuggets again. Let's make that into that. Put that there. Crystal. And there we go. I, I thought I might as well make the chest plate first, but I've realised a problem with this. We can't charge this. I can see it, its durability it actually charged zero RF. It will give us. I can see. I don't believe it will actually give us armor because it doesn't have any power, and we need to charge it using an energetic infuser. Right here it is, an energetic infuser. So it, I believe it's not terribly cheap, but it's not terribly expensive either. So it requires some silver, resin transmission coils. Also requires some resin reception coils. But do we have any gold? I think we had some gold upstairs in our alloy smelter. Do you have any in here? Yeah, we, yes we do. Let's go downstairs real quick. Put that in there. Right, now the copper gears... Oh, what, what, what happened there? That was really weird. So, let's make a couple of these copper gears. We have the machine frame. All that requires is this. And that's pretty simple. What, what happened to our... Alright, we have some tin, but... We don't have any iron in ingot form anyways. So I'm going to have to go and smelt that up in the alloy smelter. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Now, I wonder if that will speed it up. I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But anyways, let's get working on this energetic infuser then. So we should get an iron ingot pop through any second now. We should have one by now. Yep, we do. Oh. That's a bit weird. And we need a leadstone energy cell frame. Now, looks like, it looks like we don't have a redstone block. Let's get one of those. There we go. And now, do we have everything to make it? I think we do. What we, wait, what are we missing? We're missing the machine frame. Oh, of course. Now we can make an energetic infuser. Cool. Right, so this guy, I don't really know where we can put it. I think I'm going to have to put him... Hmm, I'll put him there. This is just a temporary machine setup, by the way, guys. I'm going to put that there. And this is charging, as you can see. It's getting some RF in it. And that's how you charge your armor. But we always need to make a little bit more armor, which I think I'm going to do for next episode, guys. So, I think this is a pretty good wrapping up point for the episode. We've made a little... Actually, we've made quite a bit of progress this episode. We have started working on some armor. We have, you know... I mean, I've got plans for next episode, definitely. I de definitely want to improve my equivalent exchange system once I've completed my Flux and Beast armor, which will... I don't think it makes us invincible, but it will make us pretty robust against fighting, up, fighting most enemies. So, thank you for watching, and take it easy.